Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be taking a short break from my beginner scripting series to talk about uh, pcall and add to my advanced scripting series because a lot of you have been asking me to do that recently. So we are going to be talking about pcall and how to use it. pcall is super, super helpful when it comes to scripting. Um, surprisingly, I just started using it fairly, fairly recently, so uh, I'm going to share with you all my knowledge on, on uh, pcalls. So, to do so, I'm going to go ahead and insert a script into server, script service, and I'm going to, at this point, assume you have a basic knowledge of scripting. Um, so, we're just going to go ahead and start this. So, first off, what is pcall? pcall, in other words, a protected call function, is basically a way for us to call a function um, and not stop our script. We kind of protect our script from stopping with errors, if that makes sense. So, for example, we can say... Um, local part equals game dot workspace called find first child blah 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 okay so we have this variable right here um, and we could say part dot brick color equals brick color dot random uh, and then we can print hello okay so you should know what all this does by now if you're uh, watching this but if not make sure to go check out my beginner scripting series but you're gonna notice we don't get hello printed in the outputs um, and that's because the script stopped because it says attempt to index a nil with brick color um, and that's because obviously we don't have a part inside the workspace called blah 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 it's gonna cause an error so what we can do instead to avoid this error, we can wrap all of this inside of a p call. So we can say local success comma error message equal p call function like that. And basically, uh, this is another method of creating a function. Okay, um, and make sure you have p call open parenthesis function open close parenthesis with an end right there. Um, and basically, I'm going to zoom in a bit so you guys can see a little better. Um, basically, this is just a different way of creating a function. It's called uh, creating a protected call function. And it goes through this entire function, and it creates, and it gives you these two variables. Um, and these variables are going to either be true or nil or false, right? True or false, um, and success or error message is going to come out, right? So, sorry, uh, success is whether it's going to be true or false. It's a bool boolean. It's going to be whether or not the function actually worked. If we had an error, then success is going to be false. So, we can say if success, then... Uh, print success else uh, we can say warn and then uh, if you don't know you can do that you can also do this um, instead of saying print you can say warn and it'll basically print but with a yellow text uh, so it's a warning and we can say warn error message so this is gonna come out as either true or false and if it's true that means we were able to do everything inside of the p call if it's false, then that means we had an error inside of our pcall, and we can let us know, hey, what's going on with this error by warning or printing the error message, which is going to return, uh, if there was an error, this variable called error message is going to house or store, it's going to be equal to whatever the error message was. So, let's go ahead and hit play. And if we go ahead and see, so we can see we have this warning. It says server script service dot pcall attempt to index nil with brick color. So as you can see, it warned our error message and it's saying attempt to index a nil with, uh, with brick color. But here's what you're going to notice. This time it actually printed hello. And that's because with a pcall, you can have errors inside of a pcall and still do the rest of your script. It doesn't break the script. It will just let you know if it successfully was able to do everything inside of the function or not. So this can be really helpful with data saving. If you do not want to break your data saving script, you want it to keep going. So if we didn't find any data or if there was an error, maybe the servers are down, we can at least give them their default uh, value of maybe a hundred coins or something like that. So you can still do all that um, with pcalls. 
So I hope that that was uh, helpful, and if you if it was, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, all that good stuff. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know uh, what other things you would like to see in an advanced scripting series. I'm going to be continuing the beginner one for now, um, and I apologize for <laughs> sounding all uh, stuffy and congested. I'm sick right now, uh, but, you know, it is what it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, again, make sure to uh, leave a like. You can ask any questions in the comments or my Discord server. Either way works. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.